Welcome to another edition of the Mayhem Miller Industries Podcast. I'm your host, Mayhem Miller. Today is a very special Valentine's Day version of the podcast, of course, sponsored by Kessler Family Wellness. Go to ocfightdoc.com for more information on how to heal your broken ass. Today on the show, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Damn reverse farts. Of course, we have Wingo. What up, (laughs) y'all? And, of course, we have Owan. Yeah. Now, both of these guys are what you'd call ladies' men, I would say. (laughs) And uh, today we have a very special argument. Will somebody turn off the goddamn coffee pot tax? <laughs> I will take that responsibility as a church man. Uh, I need coffee anyway, so I love coffee. <laughs> Just keep mumbling. <laughs> All right. Today's question is, if a woman cheats on her man for you, would you still date her? We go first to the ladies' man, Awan, for his opinion. Opening statement. This is Awan here. Okay, if a woman takes time out of her busy day to cheat on her man with me, giving me love and affection, I would date her. Why, you may ask? Because she likes me. She likes me more than she likes her man. And if she tells me she wants to date, I say yes. I give her full honors and respect. Thank you very much, that was very insightful. Next, we have Wingo with the dissenting opinion. I wouldn't do it, fuck that. If a woman's gonna cheat on her man to be with you, what makes you think she won't cheat on you when she gets bored of you? Come on now, it's common sense. If somebody was to steal for for you, why wouldn't they steal from you? It just doesn't make any sense to me to to be in a relationship with a woman that cheated on her man. Because you're about to be her man, so who's the next person to get cheated on? Oh! Well now, you know what? It's been broken open. Let's open this up to some discussion. Ghetto ass selfie stick. Shut the fuck up. Chill, chill. It's my show. And we're rolling. And we're back. So now let's go to a little discussion here, guys. Uh, Two very differing opinions. And uh, I I don't know. I'm not sold on either one. I gotta say, yeah, it would be awesome to be that guy to roll up in there, take the girl off into the sunset, you know, from some poor dumb bastard. But also, I would always be in the back of my head thinking she might cheat on me. Which is a to- toxic thought, and I've been on both sides of the fence in this situation before, so. What do you mean? What fence are you talking about? Both sides of the fence. I've been the guy that the girl's cheated on. I've been the guy that the girl has, has, has cheated on her man with. I've been on both sides of the fence. Did you stay with the girl? Hell no. Why not? You guys could have had a beautiful cheated. thing. Because she cheated. Like, yeah, but you weren't crying when you were cheating when you were banging some other dude's girl. Because I wasn't trying to be in a relationship at that point in time. Oh. Juan, you, what, what would you do in that situation? Well, you just swoop in and take her? Seeing as I'm cool, calm, collected, and optimistic, along with a little bit of confidence, I think that I have what it takes to entertain my woman to the point where she's completely satisfied with me. Regardless of what happened with her and any of her past relationships with any of the guys who didn't quite. What, um, what, what do you mean? What if her man was taking care of her and you were just the flavor of the month? And he and was confident. He was super confident too. You know and what? handsome he, and black. He must not have had what it takes because uh, if I got in there, it was some kind of loophole. The loophole is she's a hole. <laughs> it doesn't get any stronger than that. That's why I want to be with her. <laughs> Good lord. You guys are misogynistic, both of you. I, I right. think so. No, I just uh, I got a little bit more faith in uh, what makes a woman tick. All right. Well, 
What do you have to say to that? I don't know. Wingo definitely can talk to the ladies. I see him on Facebook. You know, on it Facebook. is it is what it is. If if you're willing if you're willing to take that chance, go ahead. I'm, I'm not gonna hate on you because obviously if I had sex with you, I don't know. It's still my turn. I got cut off there. Oh fuck that! It's not your turn. Yeah, <laughs> this is everybody's turn. It's my turn. It's my show, and I think we're I both think, wrong. I think blibbity blobbity doobity do dibbity dabbity do. No, 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 no. You that. can't be speaking meat mill language here on my show. All right, we're only talking drink noise. Okay, where's where's the Jameson at? Okay. Look, guys. I mean, really, I, I don't. I don't believe in either of you guys yet. I'm just gonna walk off and let you guys hash it out on your own. All right. So we got the woman, right? Mm-hmm. We sure do. She's in a relationship. Mm-hmm. She comes to you and says, "Hey, I like you, but I'm in a relationship. I'm gonna dump him for you." What do you do? Let her dump him for me. But that's a different situation altogether. That's not her cheating on her man to sleep with me. That's her fixing her present problem and leaving him to get with me, which is which is something that I could trust. Understandable. Now here's my other question. What makes you think she won't leave you for another guy? That's the whole reason why I don't want to get with a girl that cheated on her man. But at the same time, I feel like feel like uh, a woman who didn't cheat on her man when she wanted me, I can trust her not to cheat on me when she wants another man. Right, she probably won't cheat on whereas you. I can't, whereas I can't really trust that from the woman that cheated on her man to be with me. But what makes you trust the woman to stay with you? She probably won't cheat on you, but what if she comes to you and says, hey, Wingo, I met this guy, his name's Awan, he's really debonair, um, I can't resist him. Uh, I can't date you anymore. I haven't cheated on you yet, but I'm gonna go. Uh, That's all fine and good with cop. me, cause, 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 cause nobody can take my woman from me. They can only take my hope from me. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. And it ain't what it is. Damn right. <laughs> yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think the best thing is to get with a single girl. What do you think about that? Me too. I like that idea. That's probably the best idea there is. Yeah. You're not down with OPP. Look, I, I don't think there's anything close to a single girl these days. Okay, here's why. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. Because. He's going to make a great point. Watch. <laughs> social media. No matter what, women always have a dick in a glass. All I gotta do is go on Facebook and break in case of emergency. You see what I'm saying, guys? Yeah, very nice analogy. Yeah, so the minute that you start fucking up, they take that little hammer and go, eh, Facebook, take me away. It goes down in the deep. And then you dump them, and a year later they're in your inbox begging you, begging for you back. Or oh. they figured out your new phone oh. number somehow, and they're blowing up your phone like oh. a psycho over and over again. Oh, I wish, I just wish how she would find my Facebook. <laughs> I wish I would unblock her fine ass. <laughs> but I won't. So fuck off. Watch my YouTube video. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah. Well, Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Look, man. We got we got to go see Deadpool. Uh, can you guys agree that women are not all hoes? No, women are not all hoes. But there are hoes that I are agree. I agree that women are not all hoes. But does every woman have the potential to not be a hoe? I don't know right about guy. that. I don't know about that. I think some women are born to be hoes and other ones are born to be respectable. All right, let me, flip, let me flip it on you guys. You fucking went down like Tom Hanks. Well, and now you're on a fucking desert island going, Wilson! And like you've been out there for a minute. How long would you expect your girlfriend to wait for you? Six months? Twelve months? I would expect her to think I'm dead and I would be on the island like... All day long. Not giving a shit about no, nothing Bruce but me Will. and Wilson. <laughs> so you're saying you'd fuck a volleyball? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wilson. Not really, but if that's what you take from it, that's funny. So let me ask you, ladies, men, let me ask you, ladies, men, another question. 
guys are such expert at women. How come y'all alone watching Deadpool with me on Valentine's Day? Because. Tags. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Because <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. Deadpool's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. I select Deadpool for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I hit that. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing some beautiful women on my way to the theater. Boy, I got that one. All day long. We're gonna, but then we're going to go to the cat food section at the local oh. grocery store and find the loneliest women that we possibly can. They're there. Oh, Easy no. pickings. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> You disgust me yeah. using a female's love of cats to <laughs> further your... Hey, Horwich, you want to come on the show? Yeah, tell us about, about women. Hey, Horwich, yeah, just, bust, just bust through that door right there, please. I gotta rethink something smart to say. No, <laughs> you don't have to rethink anything smart Ain't to say. Ain't nobody got say. time for that, Horwich. God damn it, Horwich. <laughs> we just got dissed on my show. Millions of views, bro. 